Have you ever heard someone accuse Tolkien of being racist or anti-Semitic? Maybe you've even heard someone claim that Tolkien was a Nazi sympathizer. Is there any truth to these claims? Are Tolkien's works some kind of Trojan horse for despicable and abhorrent ideas about race? Not a chance. In this video, we'll explore what Tolkien himself had to say on these issues. If you're a Tolkien lover like me, it pains you to hear people claim or imply that Tolkien was some kind of racist or bigot. But the good news is that these claims are all baseless and actually contradict several things that Tolkien wrote. In this video, I'm going to show you, in Tolkien's own words, that he was actually an avowed enemy of the Nazis well before most others were. Before we dive in, please click the subscribe button below. In 1938, less than a year after the publication of The Hobbit and only a year before the start of World War II, Tolkien's publisher was contacted by a German publishing house with interest in publishing his works in Nazi Germany. However, due to the Nazi racial laws, the German publisher had to determine whether or not Tolkien was of Aryan origin. It's important to understand that this was before the start of World War II, and that Nazi Germany was a prosperous and growing economy. It seems that Tolkien had the opportunity to use his German roots for financial gain in this case. However, instead of taking the easy road and merely confirming his lack of Jewish ancestry, Tolkien expressed deep admiration for the Jewish people. But if I am correct in understanding that you were inquiring whether I am of Jewish origin, I can only reply that I regret that I appear to have no ancestors of that gifted people. This was an unmistakable poke in the eye to the Nazi racial policies of the time. Furthermore, Tolkien dared to put his disdain in writing, gambling not only with his future financial and literary success, but also perhaps with his own future physical safety. After all, by 1938, it was clear that the Nazis were hell-bent on conquest, and war was starting to seem inevitable. This one letter should be enough to remove all doubt that Tolkien had any sympathy for anti-Semitic or racialist ideology, but there's more evidence to demonstrate Tolkien's utter disdain for the Nazis. In his classic essay on fairy stories, originally delivered in 1939 just before the start of the war, Tolkien makes a disparaging reference to Hitler's Reich, arguing that anyone should want to escape from it. Just so, a party spokesman might have labeled departure from the misery of the Führers and any other Reich, and even criticism of it as treachery. Tolkien goes out of his way to take a jab at Hitler and the Nazi Reich. Given the timing of this essay, it's clear that Tolkien was doubling down on his anti-Nazi views. Indeed, this was just months before Germany was to invade Poland, and less than a year after Germany's invasion of Czechoslovakia. Open war was on the horizon, but Tolkien wasn't checking his contempt for the Nazis. In 1941, with World War II fully underway and the invasion of the British Isles by Germany seemingly imminent, Tolkien once again committed his opinion of Hitler to writing in a letter to his son Michael. I have in this war a burning private grudge against that ruddy little ignoramus Adolf Hitler. Ruining, perverting, misapplying, and making forever accursed that noble northern spirit, a supreme contribution to Europe, which I have ever loved and tried to present in its true light. Here, Tolkien goes even further to the root of his hatred for the Nazis, who had twisted aspects of northern European culture and history to suit their evil ideology. Furthermore, he openly insults Hitler, who in June of 1941 seemed on the road to ruling all of Europe with an iron fist. In the end, it turns out that Tolkien was anything but a Nazi sympathizer. In fact, he was more like a real-life Indiana Jones, a university professor striving to rescue ancient truths and artifacts from the Nazis in order to prevent them from being abused and distorted for evil purposes. Nazis. I hate these guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you'll share it widely, especially wherever you might see Tolkien accused of anti-Semitism or racism. If you'd like a longer discussion of this topic, please check out episode 196 of the Tolkien Road podcast. You can find that episode linked to in the show notes below this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to be notified whenever I release new videos on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my podcast, The Tolkien Road, where we take a weekly deep dive into the lore of Middle Earth and Tolkien's worldview. Also, please contribute to the work of the Tolkien Road via Patreon, which is linked to in the notes below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, the road goes ever on.